Hey everyone, this is Eric. Okay, now we're going to go to the select case statement. Again, this is a focus rule statement. A little bit, this is a little bit easier to read than the if then statement. And make sure you look at the video uh, for the if then statement if you haven't seen it already. It's pretty much just about the same thing. You may get confused at how the uh, select case, uh, select case, actually works. You may have uh, you may have some questions on that. Go ahead and implement it. Go ahead and implement it and see uh, see how it works for you, and then see if you have any questions. Then go ahead and uh, search for the answer. But this is the basic way to set it up. So we have a select case statement. I'm going to go ahead and we're going to step through it while we talk. Select a statement, and here I'm going to go ahead and uh, press my F8 key. Okay. It's a DBL number holds a decimal place. I have my message here. It's a DBL number. It's going to be 3.25, and it gets so select a 3.25. What is 3.25? So is it between 0 and 1? So case is 0 to 1. So we're so saying the cases for different cases for 3.25. If 3.25, if it's greater than, is it 0 to 1? No. Is it 2 to 3? No. Case else, message. So it case L. So we have these two cases. We could have X number of cases, and uh, we could have a lot of cases. And you know, it's easier to read than the if uh, if then statement. If you have multiple ifs, it goes if else if else if else if else if, and it becomes very uh, cumbersome to read. So uh, use this this select a statement to to go through it, various scenarios to evaluate so we have again dbl number we have uh is 3.25 it didn't fit any of these scenarios didn't fit that didn't fit that so we're going to go ahead and say well it's greater than three then so and and the slide greater than three bang greater than three okay what if we change the number to two let's say now it fits one of these scenarios so we're going to go ahead and see what scenario it fits i think it's probably going to fit between two and three case two at two to three it's between two and three now so the case between two and three so you get the idea good so we have we're selecting the cases for the DBL number. Use this basic uh, basic setup for your your implementations. And contact me if you have any if you have any uh, if you have any questions on this specific questions. Eric at vbstring.com. Thanks. Bye.